Welcome back to Let's Play Gran Turismo 4 Part 86. So, time for the next event at Suzuki, which is this concept stuff. There's a car that actually resembles that, but I don't remember if it's a Suzuki or something else. But, uh, what am I doing? Come on. E. Menu navigation. So, yeah, this thing. I swear there's something here in the U.S. that resembles this, but I can't think of it. It's just, like, the backside proportions are a little bit different. I'm probably thinking of, like, a Kia Soul or something stupid like that, but... Uh, I'm not gonna do any upgrades to this thing, so... Three single races. And starting it off here at Motegi. Okay, so that first attempt was kind of rough. But I think I could still pull this off without upgrading. So I'm going to give it another shot. Even though I could be wasting my time. So, E. I'm not going to bother with chase cam just because I want to try hard this and see if I can pull it off. Oh. Double shifted. Herp derp. Thing. I kind of have to dive bomb this section because this is where I get most of my time. A little bit of corner cutting, but not too terrible. I could get like two seconds of time shaved off from the lead at most. Bonk. A little bit aggressive, but... I'm trying to pull off something nearly impossible here, so... Only four seconds off right now. Not too bad. Some would deem that, like, disqualified or whatever, but... Screw it. These are robots. Nobody cares. I've actually had somebody comment on one of my videos referring to the AI as people, and I thought it was hilarious. This is going to be tough. Three seconds. Stop wheel spinning, please. Well, I won't be in the slipstream, unfortunately. But by this next corner, I should be able to stay in it. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, I really gotta cheese my way through this last bit. Oh, okay, that was a little bit more than I wanted, but... Eh! You're cheating, so... Heck off. Using a car I can't even buy myself, but there we go. And I'm pretty sure you win the Jixer for this event, but I could be wrong. So there we have it. I cheesed my way to the win, and I didn't have to upgrade anything, thankfully. Because I don't want to have to do that every single freaking episode. So, only 2,000 credits per race this time. Time for race number two. 
Well, I just realized that my mic volume was screwed up once again. Hopefully I can fix it. At least a little bit in audacity. Ugh, that's so annoying. But I'm gonna keep going with the LP episode because I don't feel like redoing it. So, next race at Seattle. Blah. Okay, well, seems like I'm doomed for that race because... It's unbeatable if they start in first, and it's unbeatable if they start in second. So, I'm going to commit some... Sins again, and, well, yeah, put NOS on my car. And... I don't think I'm gonna... I'll just do a stage one turbo. I need it. Because I have no chance if I don't, so... Uh, went back one too far. For the third time. Probably the sixth attempt overall in this event so far. So Jigster starting in second again, so at least it'll buy me a few seconds. But let's see if these upgrades will change anything. And it's stupid because you win the Jigster from this event, so... I don't even have a chance to use the same car. Let me just squeeze around this one right away. Blue one's trying to make it move already. You took a really weird line right there. That's your fault, yellow boy. Alright, it seems like I finally have a chance now. Man, even with Nos, I could barely keep up. Nos and a turbo. I'm turning in way too early. What am I doing? This chase cam really throws me off a little bit. The GT3 rotation one. I should probably just take it off. Gonna hit the curb too much. Yep, figures. Too early. This thing really likes to slide under braking. Uh, I really like bouncing off the walls in it too, apparently. Enough of that. Bonk. I really cannot drive this thing at all.
E break. So there we have it. Finally freaking won this one. I think I'm just going to keep the upgrades the way they are because I'm tired of redoing races. Especially for events like this. But there we have it. 2,000 credits. Bazinga. On to the final race. And here we go, ending it off at Sakuba. I am 110% going to need these upgrades to win this. At least we only have to deal with one Jixer, although it's starting out in second. So that doesn't really help that much. And because there's one less Jixer, my A spec points are almost down to nothing. Which, by the way, this event pretty much confirmed to me that the entire field is like determines the amount of A spec points. Which makes sense, because back in the Thousand Miles Championship, there was only one opponent that was like close to me, which was the Cobra, or the AC-427, whatever you want to call it. And the rest of the cars were painfully slow. That gave me pretty much no A-spec points. Let me just cheese my way around everyone real quick. Just gotta tap the NOS to avoid wheel spin in third. This is probably gonna be hard even with the NOS. Okay, what am I doing? Stay on the road. I should probably just skip third, trying to NOS. There we go, that's better. Almost caught up. Out breaking like crazy. Almost have him. I got a dive bomb, or else I probably won't have a chance. Uh oh. E, I can't see him. E. I was trying to look to my back right, but my view's obstructed in the cockpit. But there we go. Alright, that was a much closer one. So 2,000 credits for the final race, of course. Same as always. Blah. And time to get the Jigzer. So, yeah, just as I predicted. E. Oh. Nani? 50% completo. Nice. 
I don't know what completo is. I just made that up, but yeah, there we go. We are now officially 50% done with the game. I wasn't really paying attention to that, so that was a surprise to me. I was about to say, oh, 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 oh we won an XGR9 from winning the dang old dingy Suzuki race that was hard and annoying. So, uh, well, I actually reversed this order, so first things first. This is whatever. It's cool, but it's whatever. But this... Yes. It would be cooler if this was a locked car, but you can buy this for three and a half million credits anyways. And the other downside is it's a second worst Group C car after the Pojo 905. Which is a bit unfortunate, but I do plan to drive this at some point. Because I'm a masochist, as you all know. And exactly 50%, that's nice. Let's check on the status real quick. See where we're at. The days are way too high for me. I did a ton of random racing and money grinding before I made a separate save to do all that stuff. Which... I wish I could take away those extra days, but it's oh well. Or, it's oh well, yes, it's whatever. Win-loss ratio I could work on a little bit. Maybe, I don't know. But so far, so good. Still, uh, zero B-spec mileage, which is the goal. And, um, yeah. So with that, stay tuned for more Gran Turismo 4.